Hi, welcome to the Car Seat Lady videos. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to put your newborn into the car seat properly. Before we get ready to put the baby in, we need to do a few things to set the car seat up. The first is we need to set the shoulder straps so that they'll come from a level that's at or below the baby's shoulders. On some seats, you'll see only one slot for the shoulder straps, like on this seat. This is a type of seat that has a no rethread harness, where you can see that the straps can move up or down. Usually there's a headrest that moves with it. In other seats, you'll have to rethread the straps. The other thing to talk about is some seats will come with covers that are on the shoulder straps. Many of these are simply way too long for a newborn in that they're gonna prevent the chest clip from being at the proper level. On almost every seat on the market, these are optional. These are not safety devices, and you can remove them. Most children also hate them because they put more pressure into the side of the neck that the child doesn't want. In addition, they tend to make the straps twist around, which is not only annoying, but it's also unsafe. The other thing to talk about is head position. For a second, put your chin down on your chest. Do you feel like it's hard to breathe with your chin down? Your baby is gonna have the same trouble breathing with their chin down because you're blocking off the airway. But the difference is that for you and me, we've picked our head back up and now can breathe easily. But the newborn can't do that until about six months of age. So if the newborn's head falls down like that in a chin to chest position, they're gonna have trouble breathing and they can't get themselves out of trouble. So you wanna avoid that position. Putting extra padding behind the head will only tend to encourage the child's head to fall down in that chin to chest position. Many seats will come with extra padding behind the child's head. Surprisingly, a lot of these pads are counterproductive. You need to read the manual to your car seat. If the insert is removable, and most are, you're gonna wanna consider removing it. If you think about how your newborn sleeps in their crib or bassinet, they're laying on their back, just like they're laying on their back in the car seat. But instead of their head being like this, they turn their head to the side. I'm gonna encourage you to turn your child's head to the side when they're in the car seat. It's a very natural position for breathing. Now I'm gonna show you how to put the baby into the seat. Dressed properly means that the baby's legs are separated. So pants or shorts are fine, or a little dress for a girl. However, none of the gowns or buntings that they sell. If it's cold outside, you also wanna make sure that the baby is dressed properly so that they stay warm, but also safe. If you put the baby in the car seat in a bulky coat or a snowsuit, or other fluffy things, your baby will not be well protected in a crash. Here's why. The whole idea of the car seat is to serve as your child's parachute, in that the forces that your body or the child's body will feel at 30 miles an hour is the same as if you were to jump from a third story window and land on the pavement. Obviously, it would make you crazy to jump, but if you had to, the parachute would give you the slowest, gentlest stop. So when you make your child's car seat tight to the car and the straps snug to their body, that's their parachute. If the seat is loose in the car or the straps are loose to the child's body, then they come to a stop, but now it's a jolting stop, like landing on your feet, and that's what hurts. So it's important to make sure that the straps are snug to the body. If you were to jump out of a plane with a parachute harness, you wouldn't wear a bulky coat or a snowsuit or put other fluff under your harness because you would be afraid and you would be correct that the harness was not holding you tight. So for your baby in winter time, you'll want to layer them in three to four thin, tight layers under the straps. Then I'm going to show you how to use blankets to keep the baby warm over top of the straps. Now that I'm ready to put the baby in, the first thing I need to do is loosen up the straps. If you find on your child's car seat, there's going to be a strap at the bottom here. If you follow the strap to its origin, right above there, you're going to find some type of a tab. You're either going to push down or lift up on the tab with one hand, and the other hand is going to pull forward on the shoulder straps at the same time. I've already loosened them because I can't do it with one hand. Now I'm going to put the baby in. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure that her bottom is all the way into the back of the car seat. If you're not sure if she's all the way into the back, take her little thighs and kind of wiggle her into the back. Now I'm gonna put the straps on her. It's kind of like she's gonna wear a vest where her arm is gonna go through the hole and I'm gonna buckle between her legs. And I'm gonna do the same on the other side. Her arm goes through the hole and I'm gonna buckle the clip across her chest, but I'm gonna keep it low. It's important to know that straps are like shoelaces. If you pulled your shoelaces tight at the bow, your ankles get tight, but your toes stay loose. 
A similar problem happens in car seats. If you pull the tail here at the bottom, you can get the shoulders snug, but the slack that started in the legs just stays there, which is a problem. So here's a trick. The first thing I want you to do is slide the chest clip all the way down to the child's belly, just for a minute. Then you're gonna take hold of the shoulder straps and you're gonna pull upwards. Can you see how I can gather all the slack to her shoulders? And if I look down, all the slack is out of the leg area. Then I'm gonna let go and I'm gonna pull the tail at the bottom of the seat. Then I'm gonna check. I'm gonna take the shoulder straps again and pull upwards. I'm checking to make sure that no slack comes up. There was a little bit, so I'm gonna pull here at the tail again. And then I'll check again. This is snug, there's no slack that comes up. Just my finger fits at her collarbone. If I felt like there was enough room to fit two fingers stacked on top, that would be too loose. Now that the straps are snug, I'm gonna move the chest clip up. I like to call it the tickle clip. Run your fingers across the top and tickle their armpits. That's the proper position for it. It will help to keep the straps properly positioned on her shoulders. It is very common for babies to fuss when you put them in the seat. I'm gonna show you how to calm her by swaddling her. Take a thin swaddle blanket, make it just a little wider than the car seat, and you're gonna to wanna to keep her arms down. So I'm gonna use one hand to do so, and I'm gonna use my other hand to tuck the blanket all the way under her. Then I'm gonna stretch the blanket across her with some tension, and I'm gonna tuck in the other side, all the way under her body, all the way under her legs, and under her feet. A lot of times babies are still fussing at this point, so I'm gonna tap and shush to calm her down. I'm gonna tap on her chest, and I'm gonna Works like magic. If it's cold outside, now take some fluffy, fleecy, woolly blanket, fold that, tuck that alongside of her and under her legs. Then as the car warms up, you can pull off the heavy blanket. As far as her head position, you can also turn the baby's head to the side to encourage it to be in a better position for breathing. If the baby turns it back, that's fine. That's their choice. Now to get her out, I'm gonna take the blanket off. She might cry when the blanket comes off because she liked being swaddled. Then I'm gonna loosen her up. So I'm gonna push on the tab and I'm gonna pull forward and then I'm gonna take her out. Thanks for watching our video. Did you say bye?